There's been a twist in the past few moments in the dust-up between Melbourne teammate Stephen May and Jake Melksham and the comment that apparently sparked the brawl. Let's go live now to Braden Ingram, who's at Casey Fields. Braden, well, tell us, who said what? Well, Tony, it's alleged that it was Stephen May making a remark to Jake Melksham during that now infamous uh, altercation at the uh, restaurant in Paran on Sunday night. Now, sources have told the Herald Sun that May had a dig at Jake Melksham for missing last year's premiership. Now, it's alleged that May said, if you had have played in the granny, we would have lost. It's then claimed that Melksham floored May with a punch. Now, the club refused to say earlier today why teammates didn't step in earlier to stop May's drinking given the fact he's in concussion protocols and banned from drinking. And that's hence why he has been suspended, suspended for one match. Captain Max Gorn will address the media tomorrow, but for now, it was up to May to apologise today. It's all about actions um, and, and what I do going forward. Um, I know they'll be extremely disappointed. You know, our culture comes first, so we'll do what's right for the footy club, we'll do what's right for the cause. And, and unfortunately, that means that a person that's got so much right for such a long time made a poor decision and he, he can't play. To make matters worse for Melbourne, confirmation that Tom McDonald will require surgery on that Liz Frank injury to have a plate inserted in his foot, which means he will miss much of the second half of the season. Meanwhile, over at Hawthorne, Jack Gunson has been cleared of, ser uh, a cleared of injury or serious injury to his ankle. No structural damage, which means he'll be unlikely to play this week, but it's not a serious injury. And just finally, Jake Stringer. He'll train tomorrow for the Bombers. He is likely now to face Carlton on Friday night, coming back from a hamstring. Tony. Terrific work, Brayden. A very long, cold day at Casey Fields for you. Collingwood champion Dane Swan has implored Jack Ginevan to ignore the noise and keep doing things his way. Having adopted that approach throughout his own career, Swan is now preparing for a new fight alongside a couple of other retired stars. You might know them. Clint Stanaway explains. He's never been one to hold back. But as Dane Swan shapes up for a fight with Adam Cooney, he was keen to stick up for a young magpie. Jack Ginnivan. Isn't that what you want as a player? Like, uh, the Pies love playing with him and the coaches love him and he's playing well, so you know, who cares what anyone else thinks. In recent days, Ginnivan's been accused of going too far to win a free kick, although this former Magpie says the 19-year-old is exactly what his old mob has been craving. I'd say just, Jack, just continue being you, bud, because um, you're doing a great job and um, you know, enjoy playing footy. The upcoming footy fight night pits former players against each other. Already 10 kilos lighter since he started training, Brendan Favola is set to battle Cameron Mooney. I might be Butterbean, but if I get one, I could drop him. Maybe. <laughs> that all depends on the training. They've got a bit of work to do. The uh, fitness hasn't kicked in yet, but I'm sure come fight time they'll be ready. Fev thinks his Blues will be more than ready for Friday night showdown with the Bombers. Stung by a loss to the Pies, he's keen to see his old team respond. Then mount an attack deep into September. The supporters can, can be pretty excited. If we can get through the next couple of weeks, I reckon um, we'll play finals. We should play finals. They'll be pretty disappointed if they don't. As for Fev's final, that's set down for August 3rd at Margaret Court Arena. Good luck in the ring. <laughs> I'll need it. <laughs> Clint Dunaway, Nine News.